I wash my hands of Namdekanu's trial and arrest. Archbishop Chukuma reveals. Most Reverend Emmanuel Chukuma, the Archbishop of Enugu Ecclesiastical Province Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion, says he has no hand in the repatriation of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra Ipok, Mazi Namdekanu, to Nigeria. Chukuma said in a statement he personally issued to newsmen in Enugu on Monday that he had strongly maintained stoic and dignified position on justice and fair play in governance at all levels for the Igbo nation. I was stunned by a recent report credited to indigenous people of Biafran IPOP published by Sahara Reporters in their 26th July 2021 edition. In the said report, it was alleged that I was part of the conspiracy that led to the abduction and repatriation of the leader of IPOP, Mazi Namdekanu, to Nigeria. Ordinarily, I would have ignored the said report for lacking in substance, but that would have elicited different narratives and unhealthy speculations in the minds of Nigerians. A comment, therefore, is considered necessary for posterity. In my privileged position as a religious leader, I have vehemently maintained a stoic and dignified position on justice and fair play in governance at all levels and adherence to due process and constitutionality while seeking justice for the oppressed. This is variously conversed at different fora. My position has not changed as it is consistent with my avowed belief and convictions, he said. Chukuma said that involving him in the despicable act of abduction and repatriation of IPOP leader is a joke taken too far. According to him, it is laughable, reprehensible, and very unfortunate. The report should be discontenanced by discerning mind, for it is a product of mischief makers and disgruntled elements. I have in strong terms condemned reference to IPOP as a Boko organization, but rather as a non-violent group of agitators, he said. I agree with the bishop. I will, uh, to be frankly speaking, I will, I, will always, I will also be a testifier of this fact. You see, I've always been making reference to uh, Reverend Chukuma's assertion on Mazi and Americano's decision on Biafran agitation. I remember uh, one of his very assertions that he said that uh, not until our Igbo governors start seeing Namdekano as their leader that things will remain very, very challenging for them. I remember that that was a reality. You understand? So, I remember that very well. And, and I also remembered one very time that he said that it is only true agitation that Biafra can be actualized. So, many a times, he has conversed for the Biafra Republic. He has never for once go against Namdekano's opinion. Instead, he has been concurring and be supporting the motion. So I want to believe that someone somewhere is trying to create a confusion. A confusion within the bishop and the IPOC members. So that they will start seeing the bishop as an enemy and somehow create a war between the bishop and the IPOC, which will not work. 
See, these enemies should not allow the bishop to lay a curse on them. Because if men of God are so much pushed to the wall, forget it. They are always in their right to lay a curse on anybody. And if they lay a curse on you, it will surely follow you. I'm telling you, with no doubt, it will follow you. It will follow you anywhere. You see that? So that is one thing that we must take note of. And that is one thing anyone, anywhere should take note of. Okay? So, um, my dear viewers, I want to come in, in with uh, in this very issue. You see, um, what uh, Archbishop Chukuma have just said about the uh, Mazi and the Canons trial is what is happening right now. And now the canon needs immediate help. I've been agitating on this since yesterday. I've been letting the world to know how risky it is. I still having the canon in that detention. I know that we are trying our best, but then we need to amplify it. That is why I concord with the opinion of, of, of the IPOC members on sit at home order. Though it has, it, uh, it has not been convenient anyway. Um, just, I think, today, or is it yesterday? Yes, yesterday. Yes, yesterday. Uh, at Rivers, the, the whole street were blocked. We were blocked. In, because of this same seat at home order, people were forced, that is, those that own a car going to work were forced to come down and try to work because the youth has refused them from going to work. They have said it that they are going to cripple the Nigerian economy, and that is what is happening. So I am 100% in support. Let us all join hands and make this work. If the federal government sees that the economy is now gradually getting affected in some way, nobody will tell them to uh, to, 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 to release Mazin and the canon. But if we have, ref we have refused to listen, okay, the federal government will feel that, yes, the Niger the, the Igbos are not in support. You get it? So that is justice. So let us be wise. Let us be sincere. Let us be straight and tell ourselves the humble truth. This is the only way out to save Nandekano. And that is why I am saying that yes, we are trying, but we need to amplify our moves. Let's amplify it and make them see reason why. Uh, why, why these people, these people, uh, why uh, uh, Mazin Namdekano needs to be released with immediate effect? You understand? Yes. So, my dear view viewers, with this that has been taken note of, let everyone be mindful of what he or she, he or she is saying as regards to false allegation on Reverend Father Chukuma. Yes, because it is an allegation. It, it, is, it, it is a sin to, uh, to lay such allegation on a man of God, on something that he knows nothing about. It is wrong. Very, very wrong. I am not in support of that. So, um, please, my dear viewers, let me hear from you anyway to know what you have to say. If you're new, click on the red subscribe button as well as the red button to receive more updates. Thank you.